It's Newman Night Live, starring Melanie Carmichael, Nancy Din, Kula Gregor, Brian Forrest. Katie Moretti. Rob Foster. Nate Jones. Autumn Wilson. Brett Spicer. Kyrie Edwards. Shauna Devlin. Sierra Strickland. Donovan Haley, Jack Johnson, Sean McDonald, Frank Altamuro, and the members of House Nine. Brian Breitzel. Kirsten Heller. With musical guests, the Blue Suits. And your host, Dr. Bill Hamilton. And here he is. Dr. Bill Hamilton. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Greetings all, I'm your host for this evening, Dr. Hamilton. As you can tell, I've lost a few pounds, dyed my hair blonde, and trimmed the beard just for the show. But in all seriousness, unfortunately, because of the snow, Dr. Hamilton was unable to make it. If only it snowed on Thursday and kept Carrie Underwood from making it to the sound of music. That would be so much better. We have a great show for you tonight. We have musical guest, the Blue Suits, here. <laughs> At this hectic time of year, it's all too easy to forget the true meaning of the season, to get caught up in all the hustle and bustle and lose sight of what really matters to us most, to remember what we care most about at this time of year. I would like to read the following poem written by Dr. Hamilton and offer his sincere apologies to Clement Clark Moore. T'was the day before finals, and through every hall, a deafening silence fell over it all. The essays were done, piled up in a mass, in hopes that instructors would give them a pass. The students, still strung out on Red Bull for hours, continued to overtax all Google's powers. Typed frantic, one-handed, a monitor screen cast light over hell-seeming drudgery scene. While textbooks, somewhat the original seal, sat behind the curdling coffee, losing all its appeal both awaiting the sessions of cramming to come, the nocturnal crunch session familiar to some. And I in my office, with caffeine to spare, was sitting down groggily in my hell to share. Surrounded by papers towering above my head, a forest, if toppled, would crush me stone dead. Both pencils and nerves worn down to the end, an ocean of emails to read and to send. While out my door, zombie-like pulsing of brain, are the other professors sharing my pain? When all across campus rose the pealing of laughter from the rab to the convent with a chuckling after. 
and out of my office chair I sprang with a crash to track down the source of the merriment flash, then down to the basement on Bachman's ground floor and right to the television studio door. Inside racket and clatter, the occasional swear, the spreading of broadcast activity there. And inside, no jolly elf running the place, but a ginger-haired dervish with studio space. <laughs> now testing a monitor, now checking the lights, now breaking a sweat with a script not quite just right. And all around the space, like eagles they flew, his league of assailants with positions they drew, students writing and acting and pushing buttons and knobs, and most of them competently doing their jobs. Like an army of elves, but without the green tights, these folks making television under the lights. We're crafting a show with vim, vigor, and drive. And the name that they called it was Newman Night Live. I stood there in wonder while the laughter rolled out and suddenly knew what I'd missed figuring out. Though our work may be hellish, our heads crushed in a vice, though deadlines may threaten, though quizzes surprise, as long as we're laughing, facing sickness or health, we get through the day in spite of ourselves. Without further ado, I don't want to deprive. Merry Christmas to all. This is Newman Night Live. Wow, that was an intense one. What's wrong with your voices? Why am I looking at me? These aren't mine. This isn't mine. This is definitely not mine. Oh man, why am I wearing a scarf? Katie, don't you ever eat? Brian, get your hands off me. Brian, you really are blind. Brian. Katie, Katie, M Mel, I mean, what the hell is going on? Guys, I have like class in an hour and I need to get a piece of chocolate before I go. I have a meeting with Sister Marguerite in the canteen. Yeah! Help! What happens back home? Ah! You Americans are crazy. I'm getting the next flight out of here. Melta. Melta. Why, why are you so happy? It's Monday. It is Monday. I'm expecting mail. Here's the mail. It never fails. It makes me wanna wag my tail. When it comes, I wanna wail. Hi, uh, do you have any mail for box 288? No. Fail. Sierra's always late. Yeah, I know. She's never on time. Hashtag such a diva. <laughs> oh, here she comes right now. Hello, everyone. Sorry I kept you waiting, but that snow outside is ridiculous. It took me two hours to get here, but I had to get ready. So, perfection, ha hashtag perfection takes time. Hashtag sorry, not sorry. Hashtag T. <laughs> okay. Hi, here are some menus for y'all to look at, and I'll be back in just a couple minutes. Thank, Thank you. you. Oh, this one looks good. I know, I gotta take a pic of it. Guys, gotta take a pic of it. Hashtag InstaFood, hashtag Chococo. <laughs> Let's take a picture. Cheese. Hashtag Instagram, hashtag lunch with my girly, hashtag cute, hashtag who hotter than us, hashtag click. Wait, but y'all know I gotta take a selfie, right? Hashtag, I'm cute. Hashtag, gold all in my chain. Hashtag, look at you. <laughs> Hashtag, she won. How was everyone's day? Well, uh, you know, my day, I wake up in the morning. Hashtag, rise and grind. And you know, uh, <laughs> make me something to eat. Hashtag, chef boy at me. You know, then I, you know, then I hop in the car. Hashtag, cool whip. You know, <laughs> then I went to work. Hashtag, workflow. Now I'm here. Hashtag, I'm starving like Martin. <laughs> How was your day, Autumn? 
Oh, it was good. I had class today. Hashtag, ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> Excuse me, so nobody's going to ask me how my day was? Hashtag, get your life. Hashtag, I know you see, see me sitting right here, so don't even try to ignore me like that. Hashtag, have several seats for not asking me how my day was. Hashtag, shut up. <laughs> Sierra, how was your day? Nah, it was all right. So hungry right now. I know. This place looks good. I wonder if they hire. <laughs> Hi, welcome to Chococo's, home of the Chococo Cup Club Sandwich and the world famous Chococo's Coleslaw. My name is Kirsten and I will be your waitress today. Hi. You know what, Kirsten? If I fall asleep at this table, don't even mind me because I had a hard day at work today. Hashtag cream, get the dollar dollar bill, y'all. Cream, <laughs> work slow, cream. I mean, hashtag, ain't nobody got time for that. Hashtag 40 hours slip. What you talking about? Hashtag 72 hour shift. Wait, are those shifts even real? Nah. <laughs> Hashtag y'all from no no. So are you ready to order? Yes, I'll have the Chococo's Club Sandwich. I'll have the Chococo Coleslaw. Hmm. I'll have a solid and a water with lemon. Hashtag health living is the best living. Hashtag get my beast body right. Hashtag <laughs> sexy bag. Hashtag I already had it. <laughs> Sorry, I thought you was hungry. Hashtag, you're frauding. Sierra, shut up. Ooh, hashtag, it just got real. <laughs> <laughs> Shades on. I know you ain't talking to me. Hashtag, bye boy. Hashtag, call the cops. Hashtag, you got the wrong one. Hashtag, don't try me because I can't be tried. Hashtag, your knuckles is ashy. Hashtag, <laughs> yeah, I said it. Hashtag, is you allergic to lotion? I think you are. <laughs> oh, no, you didn't. Hashtag cake face. Hashtag you swear you Beyonce. Hashtag not today. Hashtag shut up. Hashtag your breath smell like baby poop. <laughs> Hashtag <laughs> shut up. Now listen here, Jake. We're on a mission for God. A Franciscan God. And we have to keep it cool. To keep it cool, we gotta look cool, Elwood. Huh? Can you cut that out, please? We're on a mission. Take it easy, I would. Jim, just give us our usual. Two black suit jackets. Two pairs of black suit pants. Two pairs of sunglasses. Two hats. Black. It's 106 miles to Aston. We got a full tank of gas. Have a pack of cigarettes. It's dark out and we're wearing sunglasses. Hit it! Hold on, Elwood. We gotta go in with our shades on. What? Why, Jake? We gotta look straight to fool the straights. Man, uh, okay. It's about to get messy. That's right, everybody. We're here. Relax. We're here. Who are these two party crashers? We're the Blues Brothers. Now, which one of my fellow alumni is going to donate to Newman Media? Yo, they don't even go here. <laughs> well, that didn't go well. You think? <laughs> Mom, we have to save Newman Media. What are we going to do? I know you two have worked something out. When I brought you both home from the hospital, I knew you guys were winners. Winner, winner, chicken dinner! <laughs> but mom, I thought we were... Were what? I, I don't know. <laughs> mom, can you help us out? All right, boys, I'll write you a check. Thanks, Thanks mom! mom. Whoa, just take it easy, man. Okay, Sean, we've been through a lot for this stupid club. Yeah, blood, sweat, and soul. Power. Shut up, Jake. All right, we raised eight dollars and fifteen cents. I think, I think, if you should uh, thank us or something, or you know, or uh, give us something like a medal. Thanks, I guess. But Newman Media is fine. We have dedicated fans, and we are in no way going to be closing shop. Listen here, old McDonald. Are you telling me all this was? 
Uh, for nothing? No one asked you to, to do anything. Jake, I thought you said the school was going to be like a shutdown or something. Well, I mean, it looked like a nice school, and it looked like it needed some soul power. <sighs> You're supposed to see me and my clever uh, brother. Like, come on. Like, What's the matter with you? What, I'm know, just what, trying to do what I can do. I did everything to get jail. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, wait a minute. You two are brothers? Yeah, what's so odd about that? Nothing, it's just that, uh... Just what? Um, how do I put this? It's the blue eyes, isn't it? Yeah, that's it. It's the blue eyes. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my privilege to present you the blue suits. Years? 
Ame America is amazing. I love it. Though, I did expect to see a lot more Starbucks. Oh, really? Funny. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is <laughs> Well, I must go. I have a lot of work to do. It was lovely to meet you. Bye. Thank goodness, because I have no idea what she's saying. Oh, great. You got this, Bride. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey. Great start. <laughs> so, uh... Think, Brian, think. What's your favorite color? Stupid, stupid, stupid. <laughs> um, purple. Go away. <laughs> so could I um, borrow a pencil? She probably thinks I'm pretty studious. Yeah. <laughs> Not again. Every single day. <laughs> We've made contact. <laughs> get off, get off, get off. Please stop touching me. <laughs> Thanks. Yep. And here comes the part where it asks me out. So, um, <laughs> so, I don't know how to put this. So, <laughs> so. Do you want to not go out sometime? No. Yes! Pick you up at eight. Students <laughs> <laughs> are considered especially awesome. In the Newman University dorms, the dedicated students are members of an elite squad known as House Nine. These are their stories. What kind of person would do this type of thing? Not a Franciscan. I can tell you that. So much for Catholic education and Franciscan tradition. Tell me about it. I don't consider this a person, more an animal. Recycling is far more important. Even Francis thought so years ago. Really? Uh, yeah. Out of all the words God created, he added Ken to the end of his name. Have we heard anything from the lab yet? We're waiting for DNA results, but I know it's hard. I can feel it. No remorse at all. Can we review those tapes again? Every time I see it, I just think, how could they live with themselves? It's mortifying, utterly mortifying. I just got a subpoena to search the apartment for the jacket. Seems we can charge two counts of stewardship in the second degree, and one count of recycling negligence in the first degree. What would the outcome be? If the verdict is unanimous, it's looking like four theology core classes and trash duty. <laughs> That's great. Do you know how many trash cans Newman has now? <laughs> them right. I don't think they deserve anything less. I mean, they, those classes don't even count as core classes. When they're in their fifth year, they're going to be thinking about their choices again. <phone rings> Detective Scrobot. Okay, we'll be right there. Hey guys, looks like they got something in the lab for us. Don't you guys think we need to call a doctor? Why would we do that? Because she looks really hurt. Don't you know who we are? No. Well, we don't need a doctor. Well, are you guys doctors? We're Newman nurses. It's like better than a doctorate. What do you guys have for me? Melisana Hickey, aged less than or equal to 30, passed out when she got a glimpse of the video. Apparently, Melisana recognized a girl in the jacket, and this girl was a candidate for the Christmas ornament readers, as they call it, the core team. I'll rise, the Honorable Judge Frank presiding.
Please be seated. Today we are here on two counts of stewardship in the first degree. And one count of recycling negligence in the second degree. How does the defendant plead? Franciscan, Your Honor. Very well, let's proceed. Defendant, will you join me on the futon? Alicia, can you tell us about this incident? Yes. One day, while I was trying to make it to class, I stumbled upon dehydration. I finished my last sip of brisk iced tea, and I knew I was seconds from fainting. With no sight of beverage, I dropped my can to the floor and began sprinting back to my room to avoid death. Have you ever seen any other student make this mistake? Objection, integrity, Frank, this witness cannot be testified outside of the student she is. Objection sustained. Did you intentionally make this mistake? Never. I'm just so hurt this ever happened. Did you state that you dropped the iced tea can? The iced tea can I had slippery. Yes or no? Objection, reverence. The witness must be heard. Servant leadership involves ability to listen to other people. Can we please remind Megan of this right? Sustained. Defendant, you may proceed. The iced tea can I had was slippery and I was practically going to fall down. It may look like I threw it, but that's just the video angle or something. But did you ever go back and pick up the can? <laughs> Please stand. Jury, have we reached the verdict? Negligence. In the first degree, we find the student on, on Franciscan. Our lesson for the day? Always recycle, respect each other, respect the campus. You know, there's nothing impossible. We all can work together. In this spirit, <laughs> we're not Francis Can. <laughs> we're Francis Can. Hi, I'm Kula Gregor here to give you this week's Newman Update. In Newman News, freshman comprehension tests were canceled this year because they weren't being taken seriously. Did anyone ever take them seriously? Beyonce was recently named Bing's most searched celebrity of 2013, taking the title from Kim Kardashian, who was the most searched in 2012. Many are questioning the validity of the searches, because when people search for Kim Kardashian, all they found were scandalous pictures of a half-naked, hairy Seth Rogen. <laughs> <laughs> to this, Kanye responds, Yo, Beyonce, I'm really happy for you and I'ma let you finish, but Kim had one of the best Bing searches of all time. <laughs> to which Jay-Z responded, I got 99 problems, but Bing ain't one. <laughs> a neighborhood in Southern California was forced to take down their Christmas decorations because they didn't follow code. Here to tell us about this Christmas tragedy is Bud Snow. <laughs> Hi, Bud. How are you? Hey, how you doing? Good, good. Thanks for coming. So tell us what happened. Yeah, it's really sad. Those Scrooges made me take down my lights. That's horrible. So what did you have up that wasn't up to code? Okay, it was really nothing serious. Mm -hmm. We decided to go light this year, mm -hmm. you know, only the basics. We had Dasher Dancer, Prixen, Vexen, Comet, Cupid, Donner, Blitzen, Rudolph, of course, on the roof. Mm -hmm. Santa climbing on the chimney with an arrow that lights up, mm -hmm. Frosty on the lawn, all the misfit toys, an inflatable snow globe, a snow machine which apparently was a disturbance. <laughs> Light synchronized to the bell Song Carol the Bells, you know. A 30 foot Christmas tree, <laughs> presents all over the lawn, giant stockings hanging from the fence, candy canes along the walkway, a life size Santa sleigh equipped with a bag of toys, and everything had lights. You know, just the basics. Well, I hope that you're able to get everything up and running again soon. Thanks, Cool. I gotta run, I gotta plan next year's thing. But snow, everyone. <laughs> A 64-year-old Kentucky woman was issued an obstruction of view ticket in New Jersey when driving back from a ceremony held in New York City. After making the 5,000-mile drive from Kentucky to New Jersey four times in her sticker and figurine-covered van, the ticket was taken away. The only thing she's guilty of now is obstruction of common sense and elevated carbon footprint. But the real shocker here is that someone drove to New Jersey more than once on purpose. Oh, okay. New Jersey. Over Thanksgiving weekend, the number one ranked University of Alabama took on rival Auburn University, in which Auburn returned a Miss Alabama field goal 109 yards in the last seven seconds for the win. Here to talk about this game is Bama fan Lester Cunningham Jr. Jr. 
Hello, I am Lester Cunningham, Hi. Jr. It's nice to meet you. Hi, you too, How Lester. are you doing? I'm good. How are you handling the loss? Oh, it was great. Big win. We won by four touchdowns. Mm. Four touchdowns. That's not you what happened. That? Mm, four that's, touchdowns. That's not yeah. what happened. That's not what happened. What, what are you saying? Al Alabama lost to no, Auburn. No, we won by four touchdowns. No, I'm no. telling you, four touchdowns. You didn't watch the game. I watched. Uh, you didn't watch the game. I watched the game. The score was 38-24, oh. Auburn. No, that's not what happened. Okay, well, you're just proving me right because I heard fans really weren't taking this well. Apparently, there was a murder from one Bama fan to the other because they weren't sad enough that they lost. And apparently, Auburn fans, when they stormed the field after they won, poured someone's cremated ashes on the field. How do you feel about that? You know, you Auburn fans are all the same. You do not know what you're talking about. I'm not claiming. To you don't know nothing about Alabama. I don't. What's I, the state fish? I don't know. A largemouth bass. Everyone knows that. <laughs> Come on now. State bird? I don't know. Yellowhammer. That's. Mm -hmm. How many state parks? At, 22. That's a lot mm -hmm. of state parks. Famous people? Um, Willie Mays? Mm -hmm. Rosa Parks? Helen Keller? That's interesting. Mm -hmm. I didn't know. Who's a state sweetheart? I don't know. Reese Witherspoon? Mm -hmm. Everyone loves Reese Greatest Witherspoon. Greatest football player? Who's, who's the greatest football Come on, who's the greatest football player? Uh, mm -hmm. we all, Forrest Gump? For Come on now. <laughs> Forrest Gump went to the University of Alabama? Yeah, class of 94. Didn't know that. Mm -hmm. I didn't even yeah. know that. That's what happened. National Anthem? What's, what's the... Sweet Home Alabama. Oh, well, this still, still. Sweet Home Alabama. I'm, that's this week's Newman Update. Thank you. Have a good night. Ladies and gentlemen, again, the Blue Suits. For the Blue Suits, and this is Show Me.
This is a tale of Romeo and Juliet, a modern version showing in present day how they met. As Juliet ran to get to go, she caught the curious eyes of Romeo. She was the prettiest girl he had ever seen in the night's cafe where we lay our scene. Hey, what's up? What's your name? Um, do I even know you? <laughs> hey, Juliet. Hey. I gotta go. Bye. <laughs> Even though they had just met, Romeo was really in love with Juliet. Now that he knew who she is, he had to know where she lives. Now we see him outside her window, throwing rocks at it, trying to say, yo, yo, yo. Hey, yo, Juliet. Do you remember me and how we met? How you smell, I can never forget. You have such a heavenly scent. Are you kidding me? You're creeping me out. I don't understand why you're always at my house. How do you know where I live? What's a girl got to do to get rid of this kid? Why wouldn't you date a fellow like me with a swagger like this and a style so clean? <laughs> um, I'm Juliet, last name Capulet. Ew, I can never date you. You're just a lying Montague. Our parents will always hate each other. You can never be my significant other. I don't care what our parents say. I've loved you since like yesterday. <laughs> OMG, maybe Romeo really does love me. Juliet then went away to her chamber chambers while Romeo wondered how he could claim her. She tossed and turned thinking of him, his dorky lines, his confident grim. Before falling asleep, she sent a text telling Romeo when she would see him next. Romeo then went to the place Juliet told him to go, but Juliet was a no-show. I can't believe Juliet really bailed. I just bought her this sweatshirt at the 50% off sale. <laughs> I really hope Romeo went to the mail room. I wrote him a letter saying I would meet him soon. Little did Romeo know that Juliet didn't really pack up to go. She told everyone that she was transferring, but lied. She wanted to know if he would stick by her side. Oh, Romeo didn't understand my plan. He's so stupid. I don't want to be with that man. Juliet's gone, and I'm moving on. Hey, girl, let me get that number. Shoot you a text. Why would I even date someone with a haircut like that and a voice I can't stand? I'm a strong, beautiful woman who only will date a real man. Wait, 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 wait. That's not how the story goes. I'm out of this place. You're too snobby, and your pickup lines are lame. You know what? I'm too good for both of you. I will now exit stage right and bid you adieu. You want to know why I go to the gym? Three reasons. First, to work on these pythons. Second, it's for the babes. Gotta know the babes love me. One, two, three thousand two. Third, so everybody knows I'm at the gym. I'm sexy and I know it. I, I'm sexy and I know it. Check it out. Check it out. They love me so much, they closed down the track for this video. No, no they didn't, Rob. Get out of here. I have an NFL game in an hour. Get out. My name's not Rob, it's Jimmy. I don't care what your name is. Get out of here. God. Anybody see that? I beat that kid up. You can totally beat him up, Jimmy. Handle him. 
All right, guys, that's our show. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for the blue suits for coming out. I hope everyone's weathering through the storm okay and everyone makes it home safe. I'm Brian Forrest, and this was... Newman by Fox!